Hi everyone, it's Liz here, Soria, uh, your tax lady, your advisor, and your QuickBooks accountant. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit something different, and uh, again, I'm, I'm just going through what I'm seeing, uh, you know, uh, people, uh, you know, requesting information um, and trying to figure out what's going to be a better uh, way of keeping track of their bookkeeping. So today's videos we're going to discuss, all right, Liz, is it time to switch? Is it time to unplug from QuickBooks desktop versus to QuickBooks online? Um, for some of you who are, might not be familiar with uh, who I am in my background, first of all, um, just a simple lady who has loved to crunch numbers. Um, I have passion for it, and I really enjoy um, converting chaos really into something that makes sense. I always see um, accounting such as a, a puzzle. You know, when we have to build those little pieces and put them together, and then you come out with a beautiful image at the end, that's how I see accounting. And I think that's why part of what I do is why I enjoy so much. And one of the things, I want to really kind of bring up because uh, at the beginning it was kind of for me a little bit also um, a contradiction uh, of knowing that as you know things have changed right with technology including especially in my industry uh, whether or not people are still kind of refusing should I really switch to the online subscription versus to the desktop um, there's a lot of pros and cons still. Um, I think that if you're running uh, an inventory and you really need to track because your warehouse, your manufacturer, uh, your probably assembler, something that really, really requires a lot of information like that, then yeah, I would still strongly recommend that you keep the desktop uh, premier or better, the enterprise, okay? Because there's really, um, and I want to be very upfront about this, there's really no QuickBooks Online edition that still has substitute at all uh, the enterprise. Okay, so if you are using enterprise, then by all means, you probably have a few more years to go on that. Um, however, in the other end, if you have like the majority of my clientele or people that are getting into business, they're in the e-commerce platform, right? Because they're using Shopify, right? Or they're using uh, uh, eBay, uh, Amazon, they have their own e-commerce sites. Um, then, you know, going online makes sense. Um, especially if you're traveling and, and, and you know, you have uh, more than one even owner and, and perhaps both of you need to be working on the same file. Uh, you might need uh, the sense of having uh, a peace of mind knowing that your data is being backed up 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, you don't need to worry about your PC crashing or having a, some sort of virus in, in, your, in your computer or perhaps you, you lost internet so now remotely you cannot connect you know to, to your uh, to your PC or your Mac whatever it is that you're using um, you know so, so the fact is that I, I think that it really depends on your type of industry but if you're ready online and your uh, you know online business and this is something that you need to know that you it's accessible like it is going online and do your banking and do your bill payments right and picture yourself for a moment if that didn't exist like it was a couple of years ago I mean I remember my my time uh, so the, the fact is that now that we have everything almost just away from a fingerprint uh, you know away from you know from technology uh, let's take advantage of it so again if you don't fall in one of those kind of really uh, uh, you know kind of uh, industries where it's required for you to track all that you know parts and assembly uh, the enterprise is the answer if not by all means I think it's time Time, um, and it's a good moment uh, to switch um, to QuickBooks online subscription. I'm going to briefly just touch base a little bit the difference between the three editions. There's actually four because they already have come out with what's called self-employed. It's a very basic, uh, very easy to learn. Um, that's sort of like doing your 1040 uh, easy return, which is a simple maybe you know W2 form, and you can file your own return. Uh, you know, it's as easy as 
the simple uh, uh, self-employed uh, edition of QuickBooks, okay? Um, now, if you're looking to decide which of the other editions online is gonna be the, the right you know, uh, version for me, I'm just gonna go through this, like I said, briefly. Um, and I think that if you don't need something, you know, top of the line, then, you know, there's no need for you to, to spend that extra money per month. Um, but, it, but as you grow, remember, you can always expand, which is great, right? You can always upgrade. Um, so this is what I think benefits our QuickBooks Online. I am, for some of you not aware, I am a uh, certified uh, QuickBooks Pro since 2010. Uh, not only the desktop version, that's correct, Pro and Premier, um, but also um, since they came with the first certification of online, which was way back in 2013, I became certified. I'm still active, and I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm a member of QuickBooks Intuit, um, and you know, this is the only accounting software that I use because I, I can notice that it was usually it was user friendly. People could learn it. And by the way, I know that some of the the, the, the people who I reach out uh, to us, and, and one of the things they want to know, hey, can I, I, I do you know do it yourself approach? Can I learn from someone like you, Liz? Uh, well, whether it's me or one of my teams. Um, definitely we can help you on private training that's all we offer we do not offer any more group trainings and really the main reason behind that is because we really didn't find it was a good investment a good return of your investment uh, unfortunately even when what I used to do through chambers and networking uh, business groups uh, training uh, with QuickBooks um, my groups usually were always less than 10 people because the truth is, it's very difficult to be able to teach um, and, 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 and help people when, you know, everyone has different questions and interruptions and, and, and concerns, right? So what happens is there's so much that you can expand and try to help every individual um, that the hours that we, you know, we do training, it was not sufficient. So. I came to a conclusion that I want to be a good service to you and the only way I know how to be is giving you the attention that you need. Um, and obviously when we do the training, it's very interesting because uh, we do almost one-on-one. -on -one. So pretty much like you're watching me you know, in the video, you're listening to me through podcast. Uh, you know, we do a live training uh, over the phone and remotely we connect to your computer and we show you step by step how to really utilize QuickBooks based on your books, your industry. Okay, so I'm not going to give you here at the end of the training. I'm not giving you a certificate. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that you're going to learn A to Z because it's not true. I'm going to teach you what you need to learn, which is, I think, really what all business owners want. It's just to learn how to run their books, how you do accounts payable, how you do receivables, if that's what you need, if you're in the cash basis. Uh, you know, perhaps uh, you have small inventory that you do want to handle class or you want to track certain things. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can learn, and that's what matters. So we offer that. We, offer, we also offer continuous support and training uh, in case you want to train other staff or you need just a backup. Um, so whatever it is, uh, like you said, we certify, we definitely can help you with that. But let me touch brief, uh, like I said, with uh, the simple, um, uh, you know, uh, editions that QuickBook does have currently online. One of them is called the QuickBooks Online Simple Star. Uh, this is great, especially, like I say, if you're beyond the self-employed. Um, you know, this one's going to give you an opportunity. I'm actually... Um, I believe I'm going to go ahead and try to, I think I should be sharing my screen, but not that you really need to see it, but um, if you are watching the video, it's always nice. And, and actually, I do have a link right here, uh, this under um, quickbooks.intuit.com backslash online backslash compare, okay? Now, that's going to give you a good comparable of all of them if you really uh, want to look into that. But anyhow, the main thing is, is that with the simple star, um, again, you can download your bank and credit card transactions, right? You want to have things automated to download. Now, please, I'm going to bring something up that's really important is be careful with that, with the downloadable transactions, because I see a lot of people sometimes make more mistakes um, than really uh, – see it as a benefit and that's because a lot of times you can duplicate information if you don't clear uh, the bank feed or the credit card feed then it can accumulate 
you know, transactions. Um, so, you know, be a little careful with that. Um, make sure that when you're importing this, uh, you know, transactions that you actually have to match with your general ledger account, which is your chart of account, right? That's where you have all your expenses and liability. And by the way, that's one of the things that we do also. And uh, before I forget is part of the training, a lot of times what we do strongly recommend is that for you to have a custom made chart of account, meaning where your liability accounts, your assets, your income, your expenses, and your equity, right? Which is as an owner, um, or perhaps as a shareholder or a member, right? We have different names under the equity accounts. Um, they're established based in your industry. Okay, because once you have that established and done professionally the setup, then we can train you on that because that's what we want. We want you to, to be able to be trained within your set of books, not anybody else's. You don't need to learn about, you know, Joe's landscape, uh, you know, uh, chart of account or anyone else who's into consulting or any other type of industry can nothing related to, to the type of service or product that you're selling, right? So anyhow, simple start. I, listen, this is great if you're planning to add, like if you want to add a W2 employees, you can do that. Um, you, It's very simple. It's about 20 reports, not that you need them, nothing major. Uh, you have a limited invoices, as estimates that you can do. You can charge sales tax to keep track of that. Um, uh, definitely, uh, it's integrated with many other apps, which is great. And by the way, QuickBooks Online uh, and a lot of many other third-party apps, they're, they're expanding and they're really bringing a lot of value to QuickBooks. And I like to see that because it's, it's all about you as a, as a client, right? That you get the whole benefit. Um, so uh, you can also, by the way, no matter what edition you are, you've got 60 days from the time that you start your account that you can import, um, you know, your data from your desktop. So if it happens to be that you already have started with a desktop, whether it was Pro, Premiere, and you're wondering, uh, is it compatible? Make sure that, you, that your file is ready before the transfer, um, meaning that you're going to lose some data. Um, and a lot of times it has to do with maybe what you have in your memo description, uh, certain things like that. Uh, but, you know, by all means, compare what you're going to lose and you can always replace it, you know, later on. But you only have 60 days from the day that you store your online subscription, okay? So, again, Simple Star, as it says the name, it's a very basic uh, edition. But it's good for anybody who's just starting off. Um, so, why not? Uh, I like that. Um, the next, the next uh, edition, uh, an upgrade is called the uh, Online Essentials. What I like about Essentials is now they give you instead of 20, 20 reports, now you get 40, all right? Um, you get also uh, three users. Okay, and with permission control. So perhaps you might have someone, one of your business partners who only needs to uh, view some of the data and you don't want them to be adding in, you know, doing any edits, right? And, and that's one thing you need to be careful, right? Uh, we don't want people to be touching. I said that too many people touching, uh, you know, books can create problems actually. Uh, so, you know, uh, if someone just needs to, view something, let them just view it um, and put the restriction that and they're not supposed to be uh, editing or deleting or avoiding anything that it's not supposed to, uh, they're supposed to be there and they're changing it, right? Okay, so the other thing is you can do the automatic uh, invoice creation. You can do recurring schedule, which is really nice because if you do have like a membership or a monthly kind of subscription uh, service, um, you can set, the, set it up automatically. So that's going to help a lot. Um, you can manage to pay bills. Um, you can do schedule payments for later, um, meaning that you can post these kind of bills and they don't pay them, right? You can have what's called delay charges and credits. Uh, and then ultimate, the, the top of the line, what I consider addition is what's called the online plus. Now plus, I like you to think about a comparable to perhaps I would say premiere. Okay. 
Um, so now, you know, you have five users, okay? Um, you can have up to 25 K users in total. I can't imagine someone needing that many, but again, um, and, and by all means, I also want to bring up to your attention that as an external um, accountant, uh, we are not included in those users, okay? So remember, you're always going to have an option to invite your accountant um, and they'll be able to log in and not use, you know, um, that uh, uh, user uh, uh, a number uh, against your um, account. Uh, so that, that is important because if you have, like like I said, the other edition, which is only three users, and it happens to be your more than two or three business owners, then, you know, you don't want to give up one of those users' control. Um, so again, accountants do not count as part of being a regular user. Uh, that's just a little perk that we get, and it's something that uh, we included as part of our uh, membership. Uh, and being also because we're pro-advisors. Um, so we have a limited time tracking only users. I like that. We have a limited reports, okay? We can track billable hours by customer. That's important the type of, especially if you're in a job costing, you're a contractor, you're in real estate. These things can be very important. Purchase orders, right? POs, when we need to post those POs into the system. Class and location tracking, why is this important? It is. It is because, for example, again, if this has to do with a realtor or real estate or uh, perhaps, in, uh, perhaps a, a, a um, goodness, a landlord that has a building, it has multiple units, right? Uh, you want to track by, by location, right? Let's say you have two, three buildings. Uh, you, you want to track all those expenses that you're having there. I mean, not only what you can uh, do as appreciation, but also the actual things that you can deduct fully uh, during the, the year. So again, see how important it is to have your, you know, your chart of accounts set up you know, uh, correctly, um, because that's going to help when you have to start running your financial reports, right? Um, so not only you know make you know your 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 CPA or you know your uh, um, you know, uh, enroll agent or tax pro, whoever it is in charge, uh, you know, things a lot easier, but that's also going to uh, cost you a little bit less because you, you're handling valuable information up front without them having to tackle and edit information within the books, okay? Now, track inventory, okay? This is good. We track inventory through the plus edition. It's only five-fold, meaning first in, first out. It's not a lethal. It's a difference. Um, so again, if you're using the FIFO method or the cost method, then yeah, plus would be the proper thing to use. You can prepare and print your 1099s. Uh, you can do budgets. You can create a two-sided item. That's important for you. Some of you might not understand that, um, but a lot of times you have items versus to a general ledger account that you can use. And that is important. And maybe one of my other videos, I might get a little more detail about that because, again, for some of you who are using the Plus Edition, this is a very, very, very good benefit, the two-sided items. I like that. You have estimates and you have more than 65 built-in reports. So again, I hope that this gives you a little bit of general information instead of you, you know, trying to make parables and trying to figure out what might be a better option. And as, as I said, as I, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're here to help you. So if you need a little bit quick, good training and you just really want to learn, you know, how to handle things, how to record transactions, don't waste your time watching, you know, a bunch of videos and probably end up being more confused about how to do things. Uh, we're here to help you. Um, we've been in business for quite a few years. We are a cloud business and uh, we're still operating in the cloud. Uh, even though I'm here in the sunny state of Florida, uh, but I do service across the nation. So anything that you need, please give us a, a shout, uh, reach out to us. And again, we're here for you. So if you have uh, any doubts, and like I said, training, let us know. We're here to help you. Thank you so much. And to your success, and like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at etbsfl.com. Our contact information is situated underneath the, the profile in our YouTube channel. If you listen to this to, to, through the podcast, uh, you're more than welcome uh, to comment. And like I said, uh, 
we're here for you, so always remember that, okay? Um, you know, subscribe, like, share, it really helps a lot um, to bring awareness uh, to our, you know, um, our information. And uh, without you, well, we wouldn't be here. So thank you so much, and to your success. Again, this is Liz, take care. And the